Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to Marvel Realm of Champions. We have our first, in what I would consider, the first proper event. I'll explain that later, but we do have the notes for it, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. This starts tomorrow, January 14th, so very excited for it. So we're going to go through this, but first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So just a quick reminder, all the links to my social media are in the description below. So definitely check that out. Now we have a new event here and I'm calling it the first proper event because we've had a, a few events that have come in and out of the game. We've got Onslaught that happens every weekend. We've had the Super Soldier event through Onslaught. We've had events where you use specific character uh, champions in specific game modes for a specific number of times, things like that, to get rewards and stuff. So we've had we've had those, but this this is its own standalone event, separate from all of that, and it's it's just it's a storyline here as well. So I think it's pretty cool. So that's why I'm calling this. This is the first real proper event for Marvel Realm of Champions. So just kind of taking a look at what this, what's behind the story here. Red Dawn marks the beginning of Scar's bid for power and his claim to the Gamma Throne. Scar is attempting to convince the notoriously unpredictable Red Hulks to join him in Stark's game. So, to prove their loyalty, Scar sends the Red Hulks on a mission to steal a powerful secret mystic weapon from the grounds of the Vashanti capital, Kamar Taj. So, this event, again, is going to start on January 14th, which is tomorrow as of the recording of this video. And it's going to run through February 11th, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's typical reset time. So, definitely want to be there tomorrow for that. It's going to introduce a new stronghold map, completely separate. One side of the arena, we're going to have to defend our ISO core near this portal to the astral plane. And then the other side rests at the feet of the Grand Temple surrounded, surrounded by Aegis Bonsai. Don't know exactly what the mechanics there are. Are we going to protect against waves? Do we have to have some um, someone stay and protect the ISO crystal while others go to another, another side of the map? And, and complete some objectives, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see that tomorrow. Or is it your typical stronghold format where you just stay near your ISO core, you stay within that vicinity, take out all your all the baddies there, and then, um, and then win. So it'll be interesting. Also interesting what the difficulty level might look like because there are some beta players. There, I mean, there's a number of us who have maxed out rank threes. Um, so is it going to be too easy for that? Is there going to be different difficulty levels? Um, and then again, for people who have just started in the freedom pay player, is it going to be something that they're going to be able to work through fairly easy? Not, not, not super difficult or, or having to spend a bunch of money in order to get to a point where you can run through it, but are they going to be able to naturally start working through that event? Uh, we're going to complete special daily and weekly objective milestones here. That's going to award Tier 1 and Tier 2 catalysts, some gear, gold. Special Red Dawn crates, which I think is cool, gives us an opportunity to get some Hulk weapon variants or a rare or epic Red Hulk skin. That's very cool. I'm excited for that. Here's, here's some of the variants here. These look pretty cool. Now, these are cosmetic only. The notes calls that out as well. It doesn't affect gameplay at all. Uh, it's kind of like a transmog system, something that they were discussing or something that was put into their 2021 roadmap, which I think is great because whenever you have an opportunity to change it up so you're not a cookie cutter Hulk or a cookie cutter Iron Legionnaire or whatever, where you can add some sort of personality and your own taste to your character so you stand out amongst everybody else, I think it's awesome. So um, I do like the transmog system and a bunch of other types of games and stuff like that. So that's very cool to see. Um, also, it says you don't want to miss a day because there is a weekly event login calendar, which is going to give us resources and rewards as well. Um, I'll, and just so you know, the link is up here. I'll also put a link in the description below to this so you can go ahead and take a look at this at your leisure and read through it because uh, we are moving kind of quick through it. So there's, uh, there's that again. And there's this as well. So it says these weapon variants, it calls it out here, offer cosmetic changes to your weapons, do not affect the gameplay of a champion. Um, again, a transmog type system. And then it says, will Scar be victorious? Will the Ancient Ones, em will the Ancient Ones emissaries defeat the Red Skull Hulks or welcome them with open arms? You'll have to play to find out, see you in the realm. So it'd be cool to see how the story plays out, what it is that we're gonna be actually doing in that stronghold. And uh, yeah, it'll be very interesting. So PVE content, 
for their first major proper event. So there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you. A very quick video just to go over the newest event, this Red Dawn event that's going to be starting again on January 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Really interested in your thoughts. What do you think so far of, of this event? And are you excited about the transmog type system? Really interested in your thoughts. So definitely let me know in the comment section below. All right, everybody. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. We'll talk to you next time.